Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is ignore move input? I've gone ahead. Let's run our quick little example. Our character can look around and move. He's using a normal character movement component, and he's a character as the bleep base blueprint type. If I click toggle input, we now have the move input disabled and I can no longer move my character around using my keyboard. I can toggle it again and be able to move freely. Let's go ahead and look at our nodes. When I pull up my graph for my example, we're going to go ahead and find a couple things here. The first thing we're going to find is our set ignore move input node. If we right click and type in ignore move, we were not going to find it. We need to uncheck contact sensitivity and under input, we will find the set ignore move input node. The reason we couldn't find it is our set ignore move input requires the player controller or a controller technically as the movement input target. And because we didn't drag off of a player controller or an AI controller or any controller, it didn't come up automatically. So if we get a player controller, and we go ahead and hook this up, we'll find we really only have one thing to work with. We have a new move input checkbox. Now, this node is called ignore move input, and we're setting it. So the checkbox, even though it says new move input, it's technically backwards if you realize it's part of the set ignore move input node. So when we check this, we're not actually allowing movement input, we're disabling it. And unchecking it will allow movement input. If we go ahead and look at how I've got this set up, it's basically a button hooked up to a flip-flop node, and it's flopping back and forth between allowing movement input on or off based on the flip-flop. All this is doing is showing my on-screen display, which is here for enabled or disabled. So I can toggle it, no longer move, toggle it and move freely. Now keep in mind there are a few other nodes that go with the ignore move input node. Let me delete that one because it was a duplicate. We'll go to look at the other three. The first one is is move input ignored. It's pretty simple. It will take in a player controller as the target and it's going to, sorry, not a player controller. It's going to take in a pawn as the target, which is why I had that right before I got rid of it which is my player character. So you could put in the player character, for example, and it'll output if move input is ignored. The next one is our is move input ignored. And this one takes in a pawn movement component. We can plug in our player controller as well. It will get the player's character movement and then it's gonna output if move input is ignored. And it's gonna give us a true or a false. Lastly, we're gonna have the reset ignore move input which is right here this one will take in a controller and it's going to reset the ignore move input node which is our node right here now regardless of if our ignore move input is enabled or disabled whether we can or cannot move this is going to reset it back to where we can move so it's going to it doesn't matter what it is currently set to our last one is our reset ignore inputs flags this one is ignore move this one is ignore input. The difference being this one will only reset the movement. This one, reset ignore input flags, will reset the movement and the look ignore flags. Right now this video only covers the ignore move. You can go ahead and look at the ignore look in order to determine how that works. So this is if you want to reset the movement. This is if you want to tell if something is allowed to move. And this is how you reset all of our ignore input flags. A good use for this might be your character is stuck somewhere. For example, maybe you've put him in quicksand but and you want him to be unable to move, but you still want to be able to look around. So you're going to want to just ignore movement input, maybe while your character sinks down. Or a good example is, for example, for example, I'm using an example a lot. <laughs> In the beginning of one of the Call of Duty games, you're strapped down into a chair being tortured. You can look around, but you can't move. So this is a good use for restricting the character from doing something. 
Or maybe you want them to be under the possession of something else and move them physically like in a matinee, but still be able to look around, such as an introduction cinematic, like in the Batman Arkham series games. This is going to wrap up our Ignore Move Input nodes. 